our oppressors hijacked the Bible, then told us lies. Right. And now we can't separate the lie from the truth because we so damn engraved in the lie. So when you hear the truth, guess what? You fighting against your own salvation. Right. You don't want to hear the truth. What's your name? Marquis Salam. My name is uh, Officer Yuan And I, I hear you Can speaking. I say Go ahead, sis. My issue is not with what you're sharing, because I believe the same thing. Now, we all know there's certain parts of the Bible that we choose to do and not do. I'm choosing to not dress like I'm going to faint on a 100 degree weather. I hear you, sis. But we in, we, we in boots. The problem is, let us have a dialogue. I'm not right. disrespectful. I totally am in, in, in agreement with what the brothers with y'all trying to do. But some of us have made the choice you're asking us to make. All right. Matter of fact, I ain't made the choice. He well, sat me out. down and started showing me stuff. It wasn't my choice to do this and be this. You say you're chosen, but, right, sis? So, so let us have a dialogue. Don't right. talk okay. at us. Okay, okay, sis. And check this out. Check this, too, check, I got to go. check this out, sis. <laughs> right. You want to have a dialogue? Yes, sir. All right. Right now, we're going. The dialogue is going to be God's words. So let me. You believe? I don't. I already told him I don't believe. No, I'm asking you. Do, I'm asking you. Do you believe? Watch this. I want you to take. Some. I want you, you don't even believe, if give me first dog. If it wasn't found in Hebrew, you Sis, you don't even speak that. Hebrew. All that Paul stuff. Sis, do you speak Hebrew? It is the parts that were translated. You tra do you believe the Old Testament? Can I finish my point? I mean, that's just a simple question. And then you wouldn't be saying that. No, sis. There are certain yes scriptures, no the Dead Sea Scrolls, that were found in Hebrew, that sis, they translated do you believe in the Old Testament? it to Greek, and then to Latin, and then to English. Sis, I need do you to believe in the Old Testament? I need to see the Hebrew first. I'm asking you a simple question. Do you believe in the Old Testament? Yes. Okay then. First yes. of all, read this. So what? Chapter thirty-two, verse twenty-four. This is the Old Testament. He that believeth in the Lord, take it heed to the commandment. So if you believe in God, you're gonna take heed to the commandments, correct? Right. Oh, Nobody only ones. No, 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 no. Listen, read that again. All of it perfectly right. He that believeth in the it. Lord, take it heed to the commandment. Watch this. He that believe in the Lord, take heed somewhere. to the commandments. Sis, I'm going to see it somewhere. Sis, watch this. I'm not going to be perfect. Good. And I, if on, I choose not to put the dress on the way I want to dress, and, that's why I ain't got a Hebrew man. And he I that trusteth in him shall fare never the worse. So when you trust in God, you ain't going to fare worse. Read. That's it on there. I got you. I got you. I haven't doing this. I James chapter 4 verse 17. Therefore to him that know to do good and do it not, to him it is sin. So guess what? When you know to do good, what's good, sis? I'm a sinner. I accept that. I'm never going to be a perfect person. I am going to sin, and that's one right there. Give me Romans 6 and 23. Right, which one y'all got? Which sis, one I, I want you to understand Everybody something. Everybody got something because God said you're not perfect. No, sis, no perfect. you sinning willingly, though. Watch this. Yes, yes, sir. We all do. Romans, you know what the problem is, sis? You just got a lot of wickedness in you, and you don't want to change. And, that's, and you don't want nobody to tell you about your sin. You don't want nobody to correct you, because you know why? Because that sin, you love it. So, you don't want to hear the righteousness of the Bible. If you did, sis, you would have been closed your mouth. Because give me, give me Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. I'm going to show you something about the dialogue right quick. Read it. Like I said, sis, you don't want to hear the word of God. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 1 Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God And be more ready to hear her See sis, that's the problem You didn't want to close your mouth and you weren't ready to hear So now you're going to go die in your sin That's what's going to happen You're going to die in your sin because you don't want to hear the word of God You don't want to close your mouth That's the problem with a lot of the black women They don't want to take
take heed to the word of God, and they damn sure don't want to take heed to black men. Right. Right. Read. Read it again from the top. Keep thy foot. When thou goest to the house of God, don't that make sense, but if you're going to come up to the house of God, if you're going to come up to the men of God that's teaching the word, don't it make sense to keep your mouth closed so you can hear and learn something? Don't that make sense? Right, right. Hey, 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 Brett, and I heard you doing a lot of talking a minute ago. I'm trying to teach us on the Bible. So come on back up here and to be ready to teach Never. us now. Never. Hold on. Nah, nah, you ain't getting no mic, bro. We, hey, you can write down talk what to me. What if my voice ain't baritone like yours? I hear you loud and clear. Thank you. I wasn't speaking against the Bible at all. All right. The only thing I said was I use my Bible as a protector and a tool, meaning when I speak and he don't believe me, then I go to the Bible. But until then, do you I, believe in the excuse Bible? Excuse me. You said I can speak. I didn't ask you to give a speech. You just. You want to give a speech? You want to talk? I'm just telling you that I'm not. I, I'm not here against anything or doctrine. What I'm saying is, I tell his brother what Are I you know. Here to learn? Oh, I yeah, tell his brother what I know. And if he don't believe what I say, I go to scripture. Until he believe, until he go off what I, until he say, don't believe what I say, I stay firm on my belief, which is Jesus Christ, right, who died on the cross for my sins. All right, all right. You believe in so you believe in the Bible, all right? Hey, bro, that's yes, no question. I yes, mean. I believe in the Bible. Okay, so I believe in the books. I believe in the scriptures. I believe in the Holy Spirit. All right. Okay. Good. good. So right, I'm glad I you hope. That. Only thing I was saying is we must teach our people to repent. Right. The Old Testament is here. They're there for stabilization. But today, new things is new. So, th so therefore, we must teach our kids. We can't throw our kids in the basement when the word is being said. I've been to churches where they say, go to Bible study. These kids need to know that they'll go to hell, too, once they're responsible. I, I want to ask you a question. My thing is about the kids. I, want to ask you a I don't care about... The people hey, in Babylon who knows about God. I just really want to ask you one question now. Children. I'm not, that's what we are here to do. But you can't save our friends. But, you but you're doing a lot. You're long-winded, bro. I'm just telling you. And I'm quite sure what I say made plenty of sense. Well, uh, now I'm asking you one simple question. Thank you. What should they repent from? That's sin. Okay. So what is sin? Whatever you do that's not godly. Give me sin. So let's find out what sin is. Stealing, robbing, let's, killing, let's find out what sin is. lying. Do you know what scripture? I'm Listen not here to do scripture. I'm, no, here, said, I'm here to say what I, I'm protected. I don't have to get into scripture if I know what I'm saying. Watch this. You said if that I know if, what I'm saying, if somebody like didn't agree with you, you, you said you go to you're scripture, not in, right? You're not into you're not no, in no. disagreement to what I'm saying. So therefore, I don't have to go to scripture. Uh, you got to go to scripture if I disagree. No, what I'm asking you is if you somebody yet. didn't agree with you or they didn't know what sin I was, go to scripture. and I asked you what scripture is sin. I can't tell you that because you know what scripture is. Here's what sin is. You know what scripture is. 1 John chapter 3 verse 4. No. Whoso committeth sin transgresseth also the law. So whoever commits sin breaks God's law. Read. Read. For sin is a transgression of the law. So sin is the breaking of God's law. You agree with that? You agree with that? The sin is the breaking of God's law? If I disagree, I will speak. I'm just asking you some questions. Until I disagree, I All right, give me Proverbs 3 and 31. I just want to see if you agree with the Bible. That's all. You say, really? but hey, the Bible says try the spirit by the spirit. So hey, what are we doing? And that's what I am. So, so we're man. trying the spirit. I have no religious Watch this. I'm not a Proverbs chapter three verse that. thirty-one. Envy thou I'm not the religion. oppressor. You agree with that? The Bible says envy thou not the oppressor. Exactly. Watch this. And choose none of his ways. And do what? And choose none of his ways. And God said, don't choose none of their ways. Let me ask you one simple question. Was dying our hair red one of the ways of God? I can't help. Watch this. I can't help what I don't know. I, I, so, bro, we all so, didn't know a lot of things. Right. So once I learned, I'm letting my hair grow because it was harder than this. Right. Right. So you, so you, so you understand that that's one of the ways. Of the you ain't said nothing yet that I'm disagreeing to. All praises. See, so, so guess what? We understand something very simple. Give me uh, yeah, Hebrews five and twelve. Just learn it. God. All praises. So guess what? If you just learn it, that makes sense. That you watch don't know. If, if you just you learn it, watch this. I want you to understand something. Can I ask you a question? Why are you, are you sitting here, Hope? Why are you sitting here trying right now, to right in front of persecute me you. when I said I'm right. saved, sanctified, and filled with the Spirit? Oh, God. Why are you... Watch this. If you was really filled with the Spirit, you know what you'd do? Calm yourself down. I right am now. calm. Watch this. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 12. I am calm. You know? 
But when for the time you ought to be teacher. So you you say you're 50 something years old. So you at the time when you should be a teacher, right? Me? He had me that one teach you again. You so but you got but you got the need that somebody teach you because you don't know what sins you're in. So you need somebody to teach you. Hold on, brother. Let the word come out. That's why Which be the first principles. You gotta learn the what? The first principles. You gotta learn the first principles of what? Of the oracles of God. So you gotta learn the basics. You know what I'm saying? And he gonna learn the simple basics. Give me Ecclesiastes 5 and 1 again. He does something very simple. Then you know, this is something hard for our people to do when they don't want to admit the truth. When they don't want to be humble. So God is gonna give you a commandment so you can learn to be humble. Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 1. Yeah. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. So he said, when you come, so. I needed that. Thank you. Hey, I'm glad. All I, need, hey. I came for what I wanted. Thank you. Learn to be more humble within my movement. Right, Praise right. Young. Well, guess what? He got something very simple. I can't take this too much in one time. Now, now watch this. He got something very simple, bro. I, I only want to spoon feed. <laughs> I'll be back the next time I see you. Hey, that little spoon filled you up. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. was white in color and wool in texture. Who has woolly hair? Black people. That man right here, this image that they gave you, he don't have white woolly hair. You see what I'm saying? That's a lie. That's why he was telling you they gave you a lie. But you see that? That image over there? We ain't saying that's Christ. We saying that's a better description than what they gave us. You understand? Because that's woolly hair and it's fully white. Read. As white as snow, and his eyes white as a flame of fire. Cause you know how if we drink a little wine, the whites of our eyes turn red. Christ drank wine, so the whites of his eyes was red. Read. Verse 15. And his feet. And his feet. The feet gonna be the same color as the rest of your body, right? So let's find out what color was his feet. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass, brother? What color is brass? Brown. Brass, brown, which is what? Brown, right? Yeah. Let's see how dark this brown was. Don't play with me. As if they burned in a furnace. Hold on, listen to this, but as if what? As if they burned in a furnace. This is, he said his feet was so dark, it looked like it burned in a furnace. So what color is that? Why y'all keep talking about questions? But I answered your question on what no, color was Christ. I asked you a question after a new guy and we'll never come back to you. The same man we read about. The same man we reading about. Hey, watch this. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. What people was prophesied in the Bible to go on slave ships and serve in captivity? I barely... No, no, I'm asking you, do you know that question? Do you know the answer? Do you know the answer? You know, you know what? And this cheat. You know when I pray? Hold on, hold on. Look at the sign. Look at the sign. Look at the sign. You see this right here? These 12 tribes is who God said was going to go into slavery on slave ships. Right. You understand? If you see this person right here, that would be you. This Bible is our history book of our people. Right. This whole Bible is about us. Right. And what has happened is our oppressors hijacked the Bible, then told us lies. Right. And now we can't separate the lie from the truth because we're so damn engraved in the lie. So when you hear the truth, guess what? You're fighting against your own salvation. Right. You don't want to hear the truth. Right now, guess what, bro? The whole time you've been up here talking. Hey, I take it that you're a smart, intelligent man. 
I take that. But guess okay, what? But guess what, bro? I also know something very simple about our people. Our people are rebellious, they're hard-headed, and stubborn. That's why we're in slavery now. Because the answer to get out of slavery is to only come back and obey God's words. That's Guess what? That brother right there, he's sitting there quiet because you know what? He knows the hope, the only hope that he can have on this earth is by coming back to God's laws so we can get out of slavery. If that was your hope, guess what, brother? You, know you would have quieted it down. You know what you're doing? What's that? What you're doing right now is what I do to my kids. What's that? And I had to tell my son, he said, Dad, this ain't right. Uh -huh. I told him flat out straight to his face. Sometimes in life, son, the way how my grandfather taught me, it ain't no right or wrong. This is how it's going to be. Give me that Ezekiel 3. Watch this. I'm going to give you the same thing. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I want you to hear this right here. In the Bible, guess what? There's wrong. Watch this. Watch this. In the Bible, there's wrong. We can say, hey, there's sin, and then there's right, which is God's laws. That's what's right. And guess what? The whole time, no, no, watch this, bro. We already answered that by two or three times. I guess you just don't like the answer. You ain't giving me no answer. You know what we said? We said Jesus Christ. Did you hear that? Watch this. We said Jesus Christ. That's right. The black Messiah. Not this one. See, you thinking this, listen. We ain't never going to tell you this right. He'll come back. You met him? You know how we know him? I'm going to show you how we know him. Give me first John 2 and 3. I'm going to show you how we know him. Right. I already told you. You just don't like the answer. We, First John chapter 2 verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. That's how we know Christ. If we keep his commandments. You heard what he said. He said it And hereby we know them. We know them. If, hey, read that from the top. Check this out, bud. Listen. You know what? You got to get to learn Christ. And this is how you get to learn Christ. Watch this. Because think about it, you thought it was white, so you didn't know him. And guess what? If you don't know him, oh, listen, know I... you know the lie they told you, so you accepted the lie. You accepted the lie. Because you know what? If you didn't accept the lie, you would have sat there and said, let me find out if he's white for real. Let me see in this Bible where he's white at. But you don't see that. What you see is that he's a very dark-skinned black man with woolly hair. Right, what right. you see is that, hey, he can only come for us. Right. He ain't I'm come for the white man. Right. He only come for you. Ain't no need in me going back and forth, ruining y'all day. Hey, but you ain't ruining our day. That's what we are here. You don't understand. We are here for you. That's we are here to answer your question. Watch this. Watch this. But you right here right now, so we're here for you. Watch this. And hereby we do know that we know him. Guess what? This is how we know Christ. If we keep his commandments. He, he that said if I know him and keep him not his commandments is a liar. Hey, let me ask you one question. You say you had kids, right? You got five children. Now watch this. Now watch this. You know why most of our children growing up being gangbangers, our daughters growing up being hoes? It's because we don't take the time to find out how we should actually raise our children. We just raising our children the same way our mother raised us. Now right. their grandmother raised us. And that's you know what happened? Wrong that's that's what, what you wrong. Listen, that's what you're wrong. But, 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 one, okay, I that's my point. Back. So you finna teach them the street I'll nigga ways. I, no, I sit back oh, and I look at the way how they moving right. so I can design what I'm gonna see. Mm -hmm. I, I don't go like the way how my mama came at me. I I ain't buying you no more school shoes. You better you better tighten up the shoes. I'm not, you know you're getting more shoes. No Give more me shoes a burn I don't do that. Do you teach them do, do you teach them how to follow God so they don't get killed out here in the streets? So they don't follow, follow no game. So they don't so your daughters don't turn out to be little hoes. Do you teach them that? First of all, my kid's mother, well, first of all, my mother's on top of that. That's why I was crazy with you talking about God. All my kids are in the church. Watch this. Let's see if let's see if your kids being taught this right here. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse Watch this, hold on. Hey, just like you just asked you, watch this, watch this. Hey bro, if you go if you go to church on Sunday, you worship Satan. Right. If you go to church on Sunday, you worship Satan. Guess what? That's who gave you Sunday worship. The white man. That's why you sitting here getting the answers. But you know what the problem is? You so stubborn, right? Think about this right here. We're giving you solutions. We're giving you biblical answers on how Bro, to change your life. I'm just telling you the only Bro. thing that I don't get that we you have to realize, people, I done been $100,000 a year, nigga. I done been $70,000 a year, nigga. only thing I'm telling you is I ain't with the, I, I'm with y'all motivation. I'm willing to 
sit back, support y'all. Y'all need some help doing whatever y'all want to do. I got you. No problem. But what I'm telling you is when you're trying to fight these white folk, then you know what else they're going to do? The same way how they created COVID, when they feel like we're on top, they're going to create some more shit to kill out. Watch this, bro. Black. I'm going to make this simple. Give me Subs 9416. Hey, hey, check this out, black man. You know the difference between, you know the difference between ordinary black men and us? It's because we're not afraid to die. You know, because we actually doing the work of God. So you know what? If they killed off me, if they shot me dead right now, it's this man to grab the microphone and start teaching. If they killed him, that man is gonna grab the microphone and start teaching. Cause you know why? We gonna walk in the same spirit, but we gonna still stand strong. Watch this. Hey, listen to this. Hey, I want you to listen to this right quick. So chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against evil doers? God is that what's your name? You said Mercedes Cadillac? Cadillac. Yeah, okay, Cadillac. Uh, I don't know. Hell no, he even caught me. What the hell? Yeah, just call him Cadillac. Hey, hey, well, check this out, Cadillac. Watch this Cadillac. Watch what God is asking. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? So, like, God is asking, who's going to rise up for him against the evildoers? So, guess what? We stood up to rise up for him against the people that start here killing our people against the people that did this to us so you know what we're not afraid of dying bro we're not afraid we said that we're rising up for the most high god we're doing it for you for your children so you know what if you were a real father if you're a real father guess what you want to give your children better so god is asking that question read it again who will rise up for me against evildoers or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? So God said, are you going to stand up for him? Because guess what? We're the children of God. Right. God is raising up men to lead his children out of slavery. That's Do right. you not get that? Right. He's raising up men to bring us out of slavery. So he's asking you, are you going to do it? Are you going to stand up? Or are you going to be afraid of dying? Which one is going to be? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.